Hey, what's up guys? It's Neil here with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to go over three alternative methods that will allow you to toggle on your Android's flashlight a lot quicker. So while this video will be going over three methods for an additional three methods, check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com. For the first method, we're going to use this free application called Torchy, which will allow us to toggle it on using the volume buttons. When you launch the application, it will require you to go into your accessibility preferences and Once that's done, you can go into the application. You'll want to head into the preferences, which will allow you, or sorry, the settings, which will allow you to enable this while the screen is off, not just locked. So whether your device is locked or the screen is off, you can press down the volume button simultaneously to turn on your torch when it's dark and you need it in a flash. No pun intended. For the next method, all you have to do is shake your device using Shake Flashlight. There are other applications that offer this, but this one seems to work the best with the screen off, not just locked. Before you start using it, I suggest going into the preferences and adjusting your shake sensitivity. If it takes you a while to shake it to turn it on, then you can go ahead and put a higher sensitivity or lower it if it's coming on too quick, thus draining your battery. Once it's all set up, just go ahead and shake your device. It'll turn on, shake it again, and it'll turn it off. Though this final one is pretty simple, it's still better than opening an application to toggle on your flashlight, and it's using a widget. If your device doesn't come with a stock flashlight widget, you can install flashlight widget. Once you've placed it on your home screen, just go ahead and tap it. And that's it. You just tap it again, and it'll turn itself off. There's no preferences to set up, it's pretty straightforward. So again, check out the full guide over at GadgetHacks.com, especially to find out the additional three methods. One allows you to use the power button, one automates the process depending on the amount of light in the room, and the last one allows you to add a quick setting toggle if your device doesn't already have one. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for some more awesome and very useful GadgetHack videos. Thanks, guys.